Hi, I am Ravi and in this video you will understand Azure Data Factory and solve a problem with Azure Data Factory. I have a few things on my agenda here. First I would like to define my problem statement and discuss the key concepts in Azure Data Factory or ADF and finally you will see how you can solve the problem with ADF. So let's get started. A gaming company collects logs that are generated daily by games in the cloud. To analyze these logs effectively, they need to use the reference data such as customer information which is in an on-premises data store. Every week, they need to run data-driven workflows in the cloud to ingest log data and store the output in a data lake store. Sounds like SSIS in the cloud, is it? Exactly! Welcome to Azure Data Factory, a data orchestration service in the cloud. In this video, I will walk you through how you can solve the problem with ADF. But before that, you need to pick up a few key concepts. You need to understand and define four key concepts pipelines and activities, data sets, linked services, and gateway. But that's only if you have an on premise data store. And the beauty is, most of them can be defined with a simple JSON document. That's awesome, right? So, to begin with pipelines, a data factory can have one or more pipelines. And what is a pipeline? It is nothing but a logical grouping of activities that together perform a task. And there can be two types of activities in a pipeline, a data movement or a copy activity and data transformation activity, for example, a uSQL or a store procedure or a hive activity. Now, each activity can point to zero or more input data sets that represent the input for an activity in the pipeline and they can also produce one or more output data sets that represent the output for an activity in the pipeline. They contain information like the schema of the data, the table name that your data set refers to or a location path. The data sets that are defined in the ADF they require a connection string to connect to your data to fetch the data for further processing. Linked services contain information like connection strings and they allow you to connect to different data stores like Azure Data Lake Store or a Blob Storage or a SQL Azure Database. Now, sometimes you may fetch the data from an on-premise data store or an Azure VM so, in that case, you need to create a linked service to your VM. But you see, the problem is having the connection details to the VM in the linked services will not work because ADF is a cloud service and it cannot directly pull the data from VM. So, for this very reason, you need to create a gateway and in this case, the linked services will point to your gateway and the gateway is responsible for moving data from on-premises to cloud. Further, there are two different gateways that you need to create. One is the logical gateway created in ADF that just points to the physical gateway which is installed on your VM. And it is the physical gateway that is responsible for moving your on-premises data. Having understood the concept, let me revisit the problem statement. So I have the logs that are generated daily in a cloud storage, which is the Azure blob. And then I have the customer data in on-premise. The data orchestration in ADF is in fact carried out by Azure Data Lake Analytics that runs every week to ingest and summarize the data at weekly level and the summarized data is stored in a data lake store. This entire orchestration runs within the ADF and this architecture has only one activity that runs in data lake analytics. Now let's see how this architecture translates within ADF. 
first i consume the data from a blob store and for that i create data sets that represent file within the blob store and linked services that connect to the blob storage at the same time i consume data from sql server and for that i create data set that represent the table and linked services and gateway that is required to pull the data every week this activity runs and the summarized data is available in the data lake store here i have the overall architecture and the architecture that i have replicated within the adf on the right side you see the json that is used to define the pipeline in the json i define the name of the pipeline the type of activity that i am running on the data the input data sets that are consumed by the activity namely the azure blob and the sql server table i also define where the output is stored in this case a data lake store further i define the schedule frequency for this pipeline that is once a week note that the schedule frequency of the pipeline and the output data set needs to match i also define the start and end dates during which the pipeline will be active once i define the pipeline i need to define the input data set and type of data set as azure blob and the linked service that it uses to connect to azure blob then comes the schema of the data set the folder path of its location and column delimiter since it is a file based store further i also need to specify the availability of this data set namely once a day similarly i define the data set for on prem data store and azure data lake store note that the availability of the data lake store is once a week which is equivalent to that of the pipeline once i define the data set in the next step i define the linked service that the data set will use to connect to the data store here i have a linked service that will connect to blob store and some other connection string details like the account name and account key similarly i define linked service for on prem data store and azure data lake store since i am connecting to an on premise i need to point the linked service to a logical gateway which is defined with a ui screen in the adf once i define the logical gateway i need to download and install the physical gateway where the sql server is hosted and register with the key that will be shown here it is this physical gateway that will ultimately pull the customer data from sql server to azure now i go and deploy the solution within the adf just recall that the availability of the input data sets is once a day this means that every day new data will be available at the respective data stores the availability of the output data set is once a week remember that this is the schedule for the pipeline as well this means that only once in a week i will have the final output in data lake store since the schedule of the output data set drives the execution of the pipeline this pipeline will run every week so every week the pipeline will inspect the on premise data and it will pull the data from sql server and every week it will pull the log data and it takes the data from the two data stores and run queries to apply logic and aggregation in azure data lake analytics which produces the final summarized output at a weekly level and store it in the data lake store If the business needs to use this data for reporting they can create another activity in the pipeline called the copy activity which would copy the data from the data lake store and dump into sql azure So in summary i have covered the important concepts in adf namely the pipeline data set linked services and gateways and understood how these components can be created with json to architect the schedule of data movement using the adf to pull the data from both blob store and sql server this is just a simple workflow and adf can in fact orchestrate more complex data movements between a myriad of data sources and data sinks and rightfully become to be known as the ssis in the cloud thank you